Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Karuna Luthra, Director, Department of Nuclear Medicine at Sir H.N. Reliance Foundation Hospital. People often ask me, what is nuclear medicine? It is a branch of medicine where we use small, safe amounts of radioisotopes for the diagnosis and treatment of a variety of diseases. In terms of imaging, it is, these scans are done on two types of scanners, PET CT scanner and the gamma camera or the SPECT CT. Whereas regular radiological examinations like X-rays and CT scans tell us about the structure of organs, in nuclear medicine we use these tagged molecules known as radiopharmaceuticals to study the function going at various organ and uh, structural levels. Therefore, these scans are also known as functional imaging or molecular imaging and the advantage is that it gives us information much earlier than the changes are apparent on the regular radiological scans. Let me give you an example. For example, if we want to study the brain, if your doctor suspects that you may be having dementia, he may want to do a brain PET scan that will help him determine whether there is dementia or not. What is the type of dementia, Alzheimer's versus frontotemporal or any other type of dementia? If a person presents with tremors, if you are not sure whether it is Parkinson's disease or not, we have a different tracer which studies only a certain part of the brain, the basal ganglia, to tell us whether Parkinson's is setting in or not. Let us take another organ, the thyroid. Supposing your thyroid levels are high, the doctor will ask for a thyroid scan to determine whether it is a short-lived temporary dysfunction of the thyroid or it is something which will need long-term medication. For the heart, we do myocardial perfusion scans. People who have high coronary artery disease risk factors like hypertension, family history of heart disease, diabetes, the cardiologist may want to do a myocardial perfusion scan to know how is the blood flow in different parts of your heart which is much more sensitive than the regular screening tests which you may undergo. The kidneys, a blood test can tell us, give us some kind of information, but if we want to know what is the function of each kidney, whether there is good blood flow to the kidneys, whether there is any obstruction in the flow of the kidneys, we have to image them in real time to know and to actually be able to view this function which we will do with a renal scan. Function of the liver, function of the gastrointestinal tract, and practically every organ in the body can be studied by doing these nuclear medicine scans of various types. For cancer, what we have is the PET CT scan, which is now a part of the regular, you know, follow up and treatment of every cancer patient. When a cancer is detected, it is important for the doctor to know whether it is localized at one part wherein he can offer a localized surgery or a local therapy or it has spread to different parts of the body where a systemic treatment will be required. At this stage of cancer staging, that is where the PET scan comes in, where we will be able to tell you what is the exact stage of the disease. Thereafter, once treatment is given for response evaluation, again follow-up PET scans have to be done to know whether the disease is responding to the treatment or you need to change the line of therapy. Today, nuclear medicine has moved beyond just imaging of cancer. Today, we offer targeted radionuclide therapy, also known as molecular targeted radiation, using beta and alpha particles, which are actually tagged to molecules, which once injected into the body, go specifically to your cancer cells and deliver targeted radiation to these areas and spare the normal tissues it is a very safe and effective method of delivering radiation to uh, cancer cells which may have spread to many parts of the body. For many years, thyroid cancer has been treated with radioactive iodine and we have decades of experience in that. Now, for the last few years, other metastatic cancers like prostate, neuroendocrine tumors are also amenable to radionuclide targeted therapies. The Department of Nuclear Medicine at HN Reliance Hospital is equipped with a two-bedded high-dose therapy unit where patients are admitted and they can receive these therapies in isolation and yet under the comfort and care of doctors in our department. 
there are a lot of new developments happening in nuclear medicine and in the near future we hope that newer agents are going to be available for a treatment of a much larger number of tumors by this kind of a targeted radiation therapy the department of nuclear medicine at sir h n reliance foundation hospital is fully equipped with the state of the art equipment to deal with all your nuclear medicine imaging and therapy requirements